Everything you always wanted to know about the digestive system. Hello. Isn't it weird? It starts as a delicious fish finger. Mmm. But a few hours later, it looks like this. And it certainly doesn't smell as good. I beg to disagree. So, what actually goes on between this and this? Good question. Oh, that stinks. Here's something tasty to eat. It's packed with nutrients that your body needs. The brain, for example. Give me sugar! Hang on there. First of all, we need to break down the food. Like this? No. Don't be silly. By chewing it. Thoroughly. This creates a mush that's mixed with saliva. Once we swallow it, the esophagus contracts and pushes it down to the stomach. Stomach acid removes nutrients from the food. It comes from the pancreas. Hello, that's me. The stomach acid transforms the chewed up food into an even thinner mush and releases nutrients. We're free, we're free. Hooray! The next stage is the small intestine. It's like a long tube. As long as me. Even more nutrients are absorbed through the walls of the intestine into the bloodstream. Feeding time! And what happens to the rest of what we've eaten? Well, the remainder moves through the small intestine, past the appendix, Hello. into the large intestine. The last of the nutrients and the water are absorbed. Bye, guys. Take care now. Bye-bye. Bye. And eventually all that's left is poo. The poo sits in the rectum waiting to come out. And that's when you need to go to the toilet. <laughs> there we go. And that's how an apple mm. is transformed into energy for your body Jackpot! before it ends up in a big pile of poo. But even poo can be good news. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And if any of you clever clogs out there want to find out about something else, simply pop your question beneath this post. Who knows? We might even make a film about it. Bye!